Julius Malema has responded about, oh, has said something about Talimpofu leaving EFF. This time, I think he chose to be a bit matured in how he go up, goes about it instead of just going out and venting and do you know what I'm saying? He just chose a bit of an immature way of handling this. Maybe it's because he anticipated that that the uh, people are going to be leaving soon. So maybe that informed his decision. Maybe the one of Floyd Chivambo. He, he, he did not prepare. It, it, took him by it took him as a surprise. I don't know. So I've got a video taken from the podcast here, here EFF, which addresses this. So I'm going to allow that video to play. But for now, I'm going to give you a shot. After this one, then I'm going to insert a whole video where you're going to listen to this one. But in fact, let me, let me just give you, give, you, give you one video where you will listen to this thing, right? Instead of cutting it into piece, 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 piece. Yeah. So let me give you a, look, a, a very lengthy video. But in this video, I want you to just listen very attentively just listen to Uchulias Malema addressing this thing. Just listen very attentively, right? You will learn one, two, or three things from how Malema is speaking about who advocate Dalimbofu and how the formation of MK Party came about and you know what he knows and what he doesn't know. So you're going to learn one, two, or three, or four things that you're going to be learning in this thing. So without further ado... Uh, let's play the video and please listen to this very attentively here. You know what I like about Dali uh, is that uh, there was a meeting of uh, the opposition parties which was called by Zuma uh, and I said I'm not going. Uh, um, so I asked Floyd and Marshall to attend the SG. Uh, they went and Dali was there. Dali went to make a presentation of a paper in that first meeting where he said the EFF must close down with the other parties and then form something under Zuma's leadership. Mm. I mean, th things happen the way they happen. I mean, uh, Floyd and uh, Marshall, you know him, he, he, he's just there and he speaks when it is necessary. But the Floyd is the one who was leading the discussion. Uh, who said, no ways, it's not going to happen, and all of that. And then he comes back extremely shocked that Dali is not only proposing it, he has written it down. He has had time to okay. think about yeah. it and wrote it down. So I said, no, no. So then we agreed that we must meet, all parties must go consult their leadership, blah, blah. Uh, what is our position? I said, but. That's madness. We can't do that. Mm. We closed the they EFF to Zuma. One to, we, not one year. It was, <laughs> it was not even formed at that time. Uh, uh, to, to what? Like, to do what? Mm. I don't understand that. Then, perhaps Dali realizes they are not doing a good job. He comes himself to me. One day we're all there as the officials um, um, in the fifth floor. He says, no, he wants to see me. I said, no, Shab, come. But I knew what he was going to tell me. So I brought Floyd mm. and I brought Marshall mm. into the meeting. And then he said that. He says, so I told him, no, it's not going to happen. Uh, I don't agree with that. And there's no EFF that is going to close shop. Uh, in his skillful way, you know, he said, okay, uh, plus we're late now in the elections. Uh, maybe mm. uh, after the elections, we can engage about it again. I said, no problem. And then, uh, again, Floyd and Marshall went back to the meeting to give their party structures a position. Mm -hmm. They came back and said to me, the president of ATM, Zungula, mm -hmm. said, of all of us here, parties, the only party with a national footprint, which is mm -hmm. properly established with machinery, is the EFF. Let's collapse this thing. Let's collapse all of us into the EFF. Mm -hmm. All of us was in that meeting. 
that president of the PAC was there. Uh, I don't know if Carl Nios was there or what. Uh, they were all there. I still refuse. I said, I'm not going. Uh, I'm not part. I don't agree with that. Um, and then, th that's what they said. Zungula is the one who said, actually, the EFF is the way. Then Zuma responded and said, no, no, no. Can you imagine an old person voting for EFF? Uh, these old people will never agree to vote for the EFF. And uh, he, he told them the footprint of how if we come together, we're going to get the votes from where and all of that. Um, and then after the second meeting, uh, we came back. Uh, then they said, no, Zuma wants to see me uh, for ICE. I said, no problem, I'll go. Uh, uh, Dali says he's going to come, but I already know what Dali is up to, so I bring uh, Vuyan. I said, Vuyan, let's go together. Uh, now, when we enter the meeting, President Zuma asked me to stay in the meeting with him, and then uh, Dali and some other chubby guy, I can't remember what was his name, but he came from President Zuma's side, and Vuyan. Asked them to excuse us so that we can have a discussion. So I remained with President Zuma. He started making that presentation and all of that. But Floyd told me mm. that in the first meeting, Zuma addressed them for three hours. In the second meeting, it was relatively better. He addressed them for two hours. So I said, how do you allow that? I said, hey, we're thinking maybe General will stop him or something. <laughs> hey, but <laughs> we sit kidding. there and just <laughs> listen. I said, mm, no problem. So when they said he wants to see me, 10, 15 minutes into the discussion, I interjected him because I was, it, at the back of my mind was like, like you're not going to address me for two hours. It's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, not three hours. I said, no, no, Baba, but I was thinking, uh, you endorse the EFF. And then after endorsing the EFF, we'll have a proper discussion because we are now uh, late, mm. just on the eve of the elections. Uh, and then we can talk about what are the issues that you want us to take up in the immediate mm. and all of that. And then he said, well, uh, it's too late because I'm launching a party on the 16th of December. And I think we're like two weeks, three weeks before that. Uh, so um, I'd like, um, but let's take up this discussion after uh, the elections. The meeting ended. If it took long, it's 20 minutes. We're done. And then we opened the door for those guys to come. They, like, were, they were all like, <laughs> so quick. <laughs> I was like, no, we know what we want. <laughs> because it was not going to happen. Uh, I, 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 I don't regret our position uh, that which we took mm. against President Zuma at the time. Mm. And uh, um, and, and this I asked uh, uh, Floyd if he thinks he has forgiven us mm. uh, for what we have done to him. I don't mm. think mm. he has forgiven us uh, for that. And it doesn't matter, but mm. we we were not misled. We're not misled. Mm. Everything else we articulated, it was a correct position uh, of the EFF and it remains the correct position of the EFF. Having developed those positions around Zuma as the EFF, we now say this guy must now be our leader. Mm. We can't agree to that. Mm. Uh, we can't agree to that. So, uh, and, 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 and that's the thing I respect about uh, uh, Dali uh, because he, he has been open about it, he has been speaking about it. And um, one day, you know, when I write a book, I will have a lot of stories to tell. Even on a house, uh, Dali became Zuma's lawyer on, on, <laughs> on some of these matters. So, um, so this morning, uh, when when I woke up to the news, I was like, it is what it is. Yeah, so he saw, he, I mean, he has sent me a message. Uh, first, he sent me a message about the birthday of uh, his daughter turning 21st. Mm. So I didn't respond because I could see what Dali was mm. doing. So I knew if he sends me an invitation to a 21st birthday party, it means he has sent to everyone, mm. which means we're all going to be united under Dali's mm. leadership. 
is, and then he's going to project himself as this guy who <laughs> brought all of them yeah. I, under one roof. So I said, no, I'm not responding because I'm not going there. And then he sent me now a text a few days after that he wants to say, he wants to see me urgently because he knows parliament is in recess. Mm -hmm. He can come to the office or I go to his house or he comes to my house. I didn't respond. And because we are so used to this now, my wife says to me, he wants to say his goodbyes. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm not Very good well. for I'm not I'm not good for goodbyes. So <laughs> I, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I don't want so let him do uh, what he wants to do. So uh, we respect this decision and there's nothing we can do about it. Um he has been there. I know of the work they've been doing. I know of the work he has been doing and all of that. Uh, so I, I, this has never been a shock to me. It, it was just about when is it about to happen. It's going to happen any time, but we just don't know when. So it eventually happened and we're fine. Okay. So it's been nice. It's been great. Uh, yeah, things happen in politics. Eh? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I don't think I would have predicted that. I don't think a lot of people would have predicted that. But it is happening because why? It's politics, Baba. Politics. I said to you the other time that this year we're going to be learning Politics 101 and people thought I was joking. Uh, you must notice whenever Jacob Zuma is involved, there's always a thinking, look, a thinking that goes into that. And the other time I said to you, you must be careful of, you must look at the leadership that the, the, the MK party is attracting. It, it, it also tells you a lot. You see, now they have moved from just being uh, strong to becoming more strong. Look at the type of, the, look at the type of leaders that are joining the MK party. These people are strong. And it makes me wonder, in our next election, what is it going to what is going to happen? It makes me wonder. We are going to see something in this the look of this coming election. Uh, probably the signs of what we are going to see might be felt or seen during the local elections in 2026, but the one that will follow after that is general elections. Ha. The MK party is preparing and they are taking their time to prepare for all of these elections. So do not be shocked when you hear that the MK party has dethroned officially the ANC. Do not be shocked because these people are not sleeping. They are doing whatever it takes. They are preparing, doing whatever it takes. Guys, I'm telling you, there's something that is cooking here. We are not aware of what is happening, but I'm telling you, there's something that is cooking. I will... I will first say let's focus on the on 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 on, on the by ele not by ele local elections that are coming up. That's where we'll see uh, the strength of Floyd Chivambo because Floyd Chivambo is one of the guys that is said to be a very good organizer. So we will then focus on how we will look at how he organizes everything from now going all forward. We'll look at how he moves and how he organizes everything. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting because he's also not afraid to go down and reason with people on the floor. He's very much not, af not afraid to do so. And then the other thing that I want us to talk about so far as this, there's one question that just keeps lingering in my mind. Who would have thought this will happen? Today we talk of Dalimpo for having left the EFF. Who would have thought? But one would also have to ask this question. What's the, wh wh why are leaders of EFF feeling or seeing the need to resign from the party, joining another party? Is there something behind the scenes that we're not paying attention to? Is there something big and something tangible that probably we are just overlooking all of those things? I feel like 
We haven't asked the right questions here. Where is the direction of the EFF? Will the EFF... And before I even ask the second question, do you remember that it was said that the EFF, uh, the leader of EFF was going to join MK party? I mean, sorry, ANC. And uh, I played you a video, or I created a video where it is, I look at Fikchat Ukenignene, where he said that Julius Malema has always spoken about, spoken highly of the ANC and said that he wanted to, look, he wanted to bring or keep the record of Ooh, look, ooh, Nelson Mandela being the first guy to have, uh, being the first guy to have been the, uh, the president of the Youth League, as well as the president of the ANC and all ultimately of the country. So that's the record that, from what I know, Julius Malema was chasing. Now the president of the Youth League, year ANC, said that they are open to have. Julius Malema back to the ANC. Why do you think they feel highly of Julius Malema? It's simply because, you know, if you talk about the person that can excite the masses right now, you're talking of who Julius Malema. For now, I think if you were to go to the ANC, there's going to be, there's going to be an exciting look, that's going to be an exciting period for people to vote yes again what would it do? look i don't know what is it going to do to his image because people know him as a person who opposes the anc you know what i'm saying there and there you know but i just don't know what what it will do to him personally as a brand people wouldn't look at him as a flip-flop i just don't know but if you look at the current leadership of the anc and you try to Pick one person that can excite the masses. I see Panyaza Lesof is coming. I still, still need to build a bit of momentum. It's going to be difficult because the, the, um, because the DA at the same time it doesn't do good. It doesn't do him good in terms of cornering him. So he needs to maneuver everything within the political structure. Whereas, whereas we are dealing with or competing against Julius Malema, who is very free to say things that he wants, when he wants, and as he wanted. So, this is one of the exciting times to, be, to live in because we just have to ask ourselves a question. What is actually going to happen who is going to be who? And let me answer this before a lot of people ask me why I am, why am I mentioning this. I'm talking about the next leader because whether you like that or you're not, it's the last time Yaga Sarada Maposa. Chances are Abokote Mantash is also their last, last time in power. Chances are Abokote Mantash they are also the last time. But I don't think Figile Mbalula, Kote Mantash can excite the masses. Uh, you've got Upanyaza Lesofi position himself now, trying to position himself. Paul Mashati taking a po posture, posture there. You can see that there's the, this, this direction that these people are taking. You can see people. You can see that people are positioning themselves uh, based on what they want to achieve. The question that I'm having is, do they have the right, the right backing? Do they have what it takes to excite the masses? And maybe the question that I need to ask you is, looking into the ANC leadership, do you see somebody that can excite people? Do you see somebody like Julius Malema, you know, a person, a, a leader, look, a, a charismatic leader? Do you think Paul Mashatile, uh, what's going on? I think there's a problem of electricity. I don't know. Do you, but, yeah, do you see oh, Paul Mashatile growing up to become that charismatic leader who can excite the masses because the ANC at this moment, they need a leader that is going to be exciting to, to listen to. They need a leader that is going to be, ex look, that's going to be charismatic. Does the ANC currently have those leaders who after Sarah Ramaphosa steps down, they will then take over and excite the masses? I don't know. But if you bring on, if we bring back Julius Malema to the ANC, 
you will definitely have that. They will they know exactly how to deal with him. They will know exactly how to handle him going forward. It remains to be seen. What best outcome will you desire? What best um what what is your best desired outcome? Who do you think should be the leader the, the next ANC president as well as the next ANC deputy president? I'm interested to hear all of this directly from you. Therefore, it will be nice of you to just get into the comment section below. Let's have the, the mature conversation there. I know okay, a lot of people are, are still hurting. Stay away from EFF news. What, what? Those are some of the things that I'm expecting. But stay away from the EFF. Do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm expecting things like that. But that's not where we are. I don't want us to do that. Let's just reason, use our logic, and, you know, talk, man. We are adults. Let's, let's engage. Other than that, I'll definitely see you guys on the next episode. But until that episode, good people, please take care.